you to create your DLL from the generated code uh, uh, from MATLAB. Um, so in this case, this code right here, um, and this is the name of the project or the solution was called Hello World MATLAB. Hello World MATLAB. And again, this 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 file, this solution you're looking at is what you download from the quantlabs.net site. So this commented code out here is the original uh, generate code from MATLAB, but for demoing purposes, all I care about is just returning the number 10,021 uh, from this uh, function method called hello uh, world. So basically, um, you know, you have to hand code, uh, make sure that you are able to, um, you know, convert it, make it compliant for the .NET world or within the Visual C++ uh, world of, of, of Visual Studio and .NET. Um, so there is a bit of a process through that, but it's not too um, difficult. One of the ones that I find is when the generated code, um, you'll typically get these type of uh, data types, character uh, underscore T, or you get uh, INT underscore, you know, these these types uh, that are generated from, from MATLAB. But in most cases, uh, you can just uh, convert them to a character or an integer or whatever they are, uh, and hopefully you should be fine. Um, I, I haven't really played a lot with C++ in many years, but um, I see no reason why that can't be done. Uh, comments are already uh, are always appreciated. Um, as I said before, always make sure your your new files that you generate include the standard AFX uh, header uh, file for each generated file. Um, and um, you know the, it's it's not too difficult to do. Um, but uh, I just want to show you that the Hello World MATLAB C++, this is what the target needs to uh, look like when you convert. Uh, make sure you uh, include your namespace because, as I said before, the empty uh, generated one does not include this extra code that you're looking at it, within the downloaded code from the Quant Labs. So from this point on, from line 8 on, you have to include the, this code. Um, so you have to define your namespace, which is has to match your project. Um, you define a, pr uh, a class, um, and that takes place here in your headers file of your Hello World MATLAB. So you define a, um, a class here, um, and you define your, um, your, your new methods for C++. In this case, you have Hello World, Hello World Initialize, Hello World Terminate.